ethicist and financial modeler by day, nature and wildlife photographer by design. And I'm Salwa, marketing specialist, photographer and writer. We left Death Valley and made our way into the Valley of Fire. We would spend the next few days exploring the many hikes that lead through a maze of slot canyons, sandstone outcrops, and reveal some incredible petroglyphs forged into the rock. We are at the White Dome at the end of the road. Well, those are some pretty cool slot canyons we just went through. Just kind of beautiful light on rocks with interesting colors and weird lines. Every little location though is so different. Again, the uh, rock formations and the striations and different layers are so cool. And then what the wind has done to the rock. All these little holes, pretty cool I saw. And we are out and a brand new beautiful landscape. As we were looking there's a first ledge right here and all the way up it there's drawings um, one is a, a line with some different pictographs uh, along the line on the ridge above it which is quite a bit higher we go up to the very top and there's a beautiful set of diagrams up there and pictures uh, just absolutely stunning We spent the next morning exploring Fire Wave Rock. The layers of red Aztec sandstone swirling through the landscape are evidence of millions of years of erosion. It was like walking on fossilized sand dunes.
Well, good morning from Joshua Tree. We are back for our second try at Joshua Tree. The first one was probably at least 12 years ago where we got snowed out after one day in here. Last time we were in a 1976 Westphalia. We got eight inches of snow and then they kicked us out of the park. Well, everybody out of the park, uh, which was a fun drive out. But uh, now we have the big yellow machine, so we're fine. Now it's time to go and see if we can find Skull Rock and some nice big Joshua trees to take pictures of. I think we gotta go that way. Or two next, down the hill. <laughs> and this is how Sawa fell before. <laughs> You're a professional? It never happened? Now that is a pretty view. Uh, 360 degrees, pretty, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure when it says arrow pointing this way what it means yet. It almost rips your fingers off though, doesn't it? Oh. Oh. So I, up until now, I, we were wandering a lot and uh, finding just about everything except Skull Rock. But I think now, ah, we found it. I think that would be Skull Rock. All right, we're done. Let's keep going. Pancakes are on. We've got coffee. Second coffee. Take a look at that. Is that looking like food? Oh yeah. All right. And here's people watching us now. <laughs> One pancake for someone. We are here in Joshua Tree. It's gotten sunny. And we are now getting out the tech solution for the little camper. We got both of our app Max out. A little bit behind Salwa here, we have the Starlink. Salwa is connected to the interweb. Yay! Yep. All happy. <laughs> Starlink is connected over here. And as you can see, we have our solar panels out and collecting a little bit of energy. Currently, we're getting about 130 watts coming in with all the stuff we're using. These are a 220 watt panel, so on a day where we don't have any sun or cloud cover at all, we should be able to get a little bit more than that. In the last half hour, we've gained about 4 or 5% of our battery, which is pretty good. So I think it is something that we're going to be able to use to keep us topped up fairly well.
After a few days of scrambling on the boulders, we left Joshua Tree and drove towards Arizona, briefly landing in Quartzsite, a mecca for long-time RVers and boondockers. Join us next time as we explore the land of saguaros and continue to chase the sun. Thank you.